so thanks a lot for joining for my channel and today i have a mini pc for you this mini pc is dell optiplex 3040 dell optiplex 3040 and uh, this i bought from the ebay for almost 180 euros this is just you know it's micro pc i would say you can see how small it is and if you see that this pc is having lots of ports so here we have two usb ports and here on the back side if you see we have usb another two usb 3 ports so we have all together four usb 3.0s we have two usb ports here we have here vdi vdi port and then hdmi and here network so we have lots of uh, you know things in this small pc which we can use for many purposes um, the reason i bought it because uh, it takes very very less energy so the energy consumption which i i noticed was uh, around one point something in idle so this is really one really nice uh, you know energy energy uh, consumption to have at the I'm going to check it once I have installed my uh, Proxmo server on it and all other, uh, um, you know, how to say, all other um, virtual boxes or all of the containers on it, and then check how much uh, energy it, it takes. But uh, but in the idle uh, in idle, uh, it is just taking 1.4, 1. 1. Uh, better than 2.0. So I'm really happy about uh, you know total energy consumption. Um, let's open it. Uh, uh, try to change the SSD because I have it came with the 128 uh, GB of SSD. It has 16 GB of RAM, which is really nice, and it has four cores. So there's four cores and four threads. So I was hoping that there will be at least eight threads. That would be really nice. But if it has four threads doesn't really bother me because I still have four cores I can use it for many purposes uh, in the virtual environment if I'm not using many things simultaneously it does not really make much difference so let's open it so for opening it we have this uh, screw here on the, on the back hand side you can use screwdriver but it's for me it's uh, it, it is coming up with the hand so I don't need to do that so just take it out without any problem i can just unscrew it what if you can construct somewhere so then you just put it down and do a little bit more work okay and then okay. this came out now so <coughs> once it, it is out what we need to do we need to pull it this side so this is the front end side so we need to pull it to the front end side by this by doing this and this way it will come out and once you have it you can just take it out like this here inside you can see we have a ram here this is sorry um ssd here this is one uh, 28 gb ssd which i want to replace with my 500 gb ssd uh, it's really really easy to do that what we need to do first is just push these two things and then from here we just need to pull it so together all these three things should be together and once we have it it will just come out like this okay here you can see the motherboard and lots of other things here we have a fan, so it has a very small fan which runs with the power supply says 5 watts, so this is really good. Otherwise, uh, I think the RAM is behind this panel. I'm not interested to change it because it's already came, came with 16 GB of RAM. So let's just uh, uh, let's change this thing. So uh, this looks like you can see like this. So what we need to do, we need to just do like this to take this SSP out from these. And once you just pull it a little bit outside, then it will be, it will come out and then you have the SSD in your hand. Okay, I'm keeping it aside and going to replace it with my 
another SSD which is H60 EVO Samsung 500 GB as you can see and yeah let's do it so if you don't know much about the SSD you will have this kind of hole here on the all four side otherwise you have four holes here so some uh, some uh, you know uh, cases they have they can be screwed from these four hole, hole uh, these four holes and other cases can be screwed with these four holes depending on what kind of uh, you know adapter you have uh, this adapter if you see this is a 3.5 adapter 3.5 to 2.5 adapter uh, this is usually used if you have big stations where you can only put 3.5 uh, uh, inch uh, um, hard drive and uh, with this you can see the four holes you can use these four holes the behind one yeah these four holes to screw it uh, in this case we are not going to use this one in this case we have our you know side holes which we have here they can be used so as i said it just goes really easily like this one two three four okay make sure you uh you know it's going into the hole otherwise if you miss it then the SS ssd might not fit properly so i think it's done okay once you have it you can just pull it again in the place but for that actually i think i did it wrongly should be that part should be in the sensor logo should be on the other side not this side so you just do it okay okay uh, anyways means if some this kind of things happen usually hardware or these kind of uh, you know computer pcs they are built in a way that they won't let you insert the ssd if it's not fitting so you will anyways notice it but let's do it in the right way now you need to again press this thing and here you have one, one uh, I, I i don't really know what to say but here uh, what to say it in english but here you have this plastic thing so what you need to do pull this thing these two things a little bit and try to insert it like this so it comes directly into into this hole and then then just pull it and if you see, uh, it's and if it and then this way you will notice that it's fitting now perfectly in the position you just need to pull it a little bit and then this is fixed so this is how you can change the ssd to putting the cover is again easy you just need to find out the right place where you need to do that here this side we have this uh, usb 3 fold so i know this is the right side so this is the front side not the right side but front side and front side just put it on the this and then here you will have some gap which you can oh sorry this didn't fit properly this this black thing should be uh, you know, coming inside here and then this way this is done so i guess you have like uh, the tutorial of my uh blog if you have any question about this device then please let me know i'm also running other small devices at home so uh, if you want to know more about that just write down in the in the comment box if you have any question please write down in the comment box and we'll see you in the next in the next video thanks a lot for watching bye bye